over here today. Just kind of having fly day practice day, uh, bringing out all this new equipment that everyone's been building. It's kind of indescribable. Uh, the closest thing I can think of is, is like pod racing. You guys have ever seen Star Wars? Uh, it's really fast, it's low to the ground, uh, and it, you're flying in the first person of the drone, so it's, it's pretty indescribable. It's a perspective that most people don't get to see on it at all, ever. And we get to experience it daily if we really want to. I lost you. I saw you. It's like racing a car, not having to worry about crashing it. Every time I go up, I'm always like, all right, I gotta try something new. Got to go a little bit faster than last time, you know. Got to perform better than my previous flight. And so every time I go up, it's always a constant improvement. I'm like, all right, well, this thing needs to get tuned. So when I when I bring this down, I'll adjust this setting or whatever. So it's all just kind of a constant improvement progress. And see, I like how your brick is designed where the frame is sitting in the middle of the X. Yep. I, I like that. My goal was to try and get as many people interested and show them how, like, teach them all the mistakes that I made and teach them how to avoid those mistakes. And so we were able to get at least four or five people from having nothing to now having a functioning quadcopter in the course of three or four months, which is really, really exciting. And that was kind of the goal with starting this club. The equipment that we use is derived from old security systems. So uh, everything is analog video at this point and we're sending essentially video from the drone wirelessly to a pair of uh, almost virtual reality goggles that replicate the video. 